does need me that I need to be sort of healthy. Hi guys! Good morning! It is Monday lunchtime, so it's not really morning. Um, I want to go back into vlogging. I want to vlog daily, but I don't know how that is going to go but i thought i would come in and do an update video at least so that i can kind of update you on what is going on because i don't want this channel to die down because i really love doing the vlogs i really love communicating with you having the conversations everywhere so i thought why not why not do a little bit of an update video um there has been a lot going on for the past four months uh I'm gonna try to be very concise and I'm going to leave out a lot of information. I'm sorry about that, but I want it to be kind of a condensed video. So, good morning. I hope you have an awesome day. It is Monday, the 23rd of September. It's almost like four months since I last uploaded a video here. And there has been a lot of good things and a lot of bad things. I have been stitching. I've been a very monogamous stitcher. I've been keeping to one project only nothing outside of it just one project and i've been stitching a minimum of 100 stitches per day if you are interested in of actually seeing the updates on a daily basis i'm going to put a, a little bit of a link up here to my instagram which now is called marika.stitches because i thought it would kind of present it a little bit better it was my full name before and now i just added the stitches instead for my last name um just so that people know that it is cross stitching or stitching and embroidery because that is mostly what i do there um i do a daily photo of the process uh in my eight inch frame and then i do full project photos whenever i move the frame so yeah if you want to see me stitching uh the heaven and earth designs uh seven sins called envy I previously previously done wrath, uh, so this is my second in the series. But yeah, that's the stitchy update. It was a fast update. Uh, the next update is my health update. Uh, I'm gonna try not to go into too many details because I discovered been trying to record this for a while, and I'm just going into like long rants, and we don't want this video to be 17 minutes. We don't want it to be 17 minutes. It would have been a lot longer if I kept on last time. Anyhow, let's jump into it. So, hyperprolactomy was something I was uh, fighting for the past two years. It seems that it is finally on. Well, we will see. Uh, I do not know if the prolactinoma that they thought that I had in my brain is still there or has gone. However, I had a treatment in May and it seems, and it pushed my, uh, prolactin very 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 low uh, however this time around is is taking a lot longer time to actually go up so hopefully it will stay at a low level my migraines are also quite reduced when it comes to that we'll get into it i have a bit of cold we can take that i have a bit of a cold right now i have a slight fever i have the sniffles some coughing and uh that is actually causing a little bit of headaches i get sinus headaches whenever i get a cold so that's just how it is and thirdly and the thing that is has been messing with me for the past four months is that i have back issues um i have gone through a orthopedist i've gone through my uh, rheumatologist and i'm going through a neurologist and a physiotherapist for this the orthopedist uh had MRIs made on my back and we found that it isn't anything spinal. I don't have any herniated discs. I don't have any spinal issues. I don't have too tight nerve endings, nothing. Uh, however, the spine is a little bit straighter than it should be, both in the upper and the lower part, but that is probably because of the muscle tensions, because of what is happening in my back. Uh, the rheumatologist uh, gave me a pretty strong course of cortisone to see if that would help. It didn't, so it isn't um, lupus. It isn't my lupus that is 
breaking. We also took a lot of tests and nothing is, is peaking at this moment. So most likely I, it isn't the lupus. It is still playing nice. Just hope that it continues to play nice. So then we used to sit there like, what can this be? But I have a couple of other issues, so it might be neurologic. Um, the reason, the the back issues that I have is that in my upper back I have a muscle kind of lock uh, in my upper spine um, that just doesn't release. I do eat muscle relaxants and I eat them on a daily basis. Um, and that helps it not hurt so much so i can at least sleep and live uh, i still have pain all all time all day but it's it's just at that limit where i'm not going crazy uh, but the muscle relaxants is actually showing a bigger issue and that is i have some issues with my lower back um, Partly because I don't have the core muscles to keep my spine straight, so I'm putting a lot of pressure onto the back muscles, and that is one of the reasons why they are inflamed and irritated. Um, and this also causes uh, some pressure onto the big nerve centrals uh, in my hips, which means that I, when I move around, I lose the feeling when I foot and i lose the muscle muscle um, strength and stuff like that so it's been really really tough and right now the pain is pretty bad so i am on 100 percent sick leave and have been since uh, end of july uh it's rough because i really want to work i really want to be out there i want to do my job i have uh, been very more focused this last year I think of what I want to do and where I want to go I'm doing um, big changes in my life to kind of fit that goal and I think it's the first time actually doing it and just not thinking about it so that is good that is actually pretty awesome um, I have a goal and now I have a way to get to that goal so that, that's really good but it does need me that I need to be sort of healthy at least like 75% and I'm not right now and that kind of annoys me quite a lot but yeah so we're still trying to figure out I still have a couple of meetings with different doctors both for prolact prolactin levels and also for the other for my back so we still haven't figured out what is going on why this is happening is this going to be something long lasting or it's something that I can work away however I work with my physiotherapist on um, every other week I come to her and then I go home and I do a lot of exercises at home uh, so hopefully this will mean that this will disappear sooner rather than later but yeah so that is what's going on uh, and while all of this has been going on I have been working really really hard to feel better to be more happy and have more energy the energy part is still very very hard to work on because having pain saps you from all the energy and on top of that the medication I eat does make me groggy both the muscle relaxants but also my painkillers um, my uh, stronger painkillers makes me kind of tired so yeah but staying happy is I'm working really hard on it I have my stitching uh, however I try to reduce my stitching to not stitch too much so that I don't sit too much because then I hurt my back more um i have started to draw a little bit more um just because i haven't had the energy to sit in front of the computer i haven't done any craft videos but um i started to craft again just craft make cards uh cards that i'm gonna put on blogs later on but are not videos and that makes it easier you would think like well you just turn on the camera and then you just do your cards and you don't have to worry but in this case like the other day I had like 
half an hour session where I just made backgrounds and those are going to be used now on all the cards coming forward um, and when you do a video you need to make it from the start to the finish which means that I wouldn't be able to do like 15 backgrounds I would need to show how to do one um, so stuff like that makes it different and um, I'm really enjoying it I'm practicing my coloring I'm practicing thinking about things looking at reference images um, that is a lot of fun and then I am playing video games I have gotten into a uh, MMORPG again which <laughs> they can be very fun and very annoying at the same time um, I played World of Warcraft for many many years and then I stopped a little while ago uh, because it didn't work right then I didn't have the correct seating in the room so I was having issues with my shoulders uh, and really bad migraine issues and that was the last time I dropped out of that but my friend said hey Final Fantasy has an MMORPG and Final Fantasy was kind of my I played a lot of Nintendo when I was little but when I was I think 16 um, I got to 15, 16, somewhere there, uh, I got to play, I might be older, anyhow, 17 probably, I got to play Final Fantasy VIII and that was kind of my door into Final Fantasy world and I just fell in love with the game, one well, of the games, the series uh, and um, the MMORPG is really really fun um, and also it feels a lot like World of Warcraft has a lot of lore, Final Fantasy also has a lot of lore, but Final Fantasy lore, I actually know. <laughs> World of Warcraft, I never played the Warcraft games that much, I did a little, but I never was very into it uh, because I wasn't good at gaming and I thought that was something you like inherently knew how to do. And if you couldn't do that, you shouldn't. Apparently, as with everything, um, talent will only take you so far you will peop, there are some people that have an inherent talent to four different things you think the right logical way and therefore it makes it easier for you however to be a good be uh, really good at something you need to practice a lot and a lot of people that have an inherent talent do enjoy what they are doing and therefore they practice a lot but with Final Fantasy I understood it better and I played a lot of the games so I know a lot of the lore and it's a lot of fun. So I've been playing that. I even got to borrow a PC computer from a friend of ours uh, because I don't have a PC and being sick I don't, I can't afford to buy a new one. Um, and then I also bought Final Fantasy VIII because they came out to the switch and I do have a have a an old um, PlayStation 2 where it came out from the beginning or I think it was the PlayStation 1 it came out too but I played it mostly on the 2 because they were backwards compatible um, but um, I haven't used that console in so many years uh, so it was fun to have it on my my switch and I can have it on my lap and I can play it in the sofa or on the go or however so that has been keeping me happy the gaming um, the crafting the coloring playing with the colors uh, the stitching the kitties the really adorable cats that we have um, they're keeping me happy and the last thing that I do to try to keep happy is that I need to go out and walk every day um, I can't do it I can't do it in the forest on my own because I'm a little bit afraid that my leg is gonna kind of not work because it doesn't in periods uh, but I can do it in town so I make sure to be able to meet up with a friend have a cup of coffee or have lunch and chat um, and then I walk around in the malls and on the streets um, instead of taking the closest subway station I walk to the next one stuff like that to get more steps in every day 
um, and also walking is it's good for you it's good for you I need to I need to do that so my back feels better but anyhow I am going to have to get ready to get out because I'm gonna to head to my doctor's appointment uh, now you have kind of the update it was a 15 minute update hopefully you enjoy it and um, I'll see you tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna to go into town and maybe I can take you with me I never know we never know uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching and good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye